and welcome to Backseat Gamer, uh, home of the Whopper. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortune. You didn't seem too sure about that one. No, I wasn't. And Billy Carter. Whopper, 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 badger, whopper, badger, whopper, badger, whopper, badger, whopper. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. mushroom. Shroom. Oh, it's a snake. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're in hell. Oh, well, so we're in Detroit. Gotcha. Yes. It's funny you say that because I think uh, I, I am at this moment caught up on uh, all the videos. Everything that we've recorded thus far, except for today's stuff, obviously, uh, is up on YouTube to be premiered. And I think the 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 previous episode of Doom before this one, uh, episode six, uh, the description mentions that it, it looks nothing like Detroit. So <laughs> that's appropriate. There you go. There you go. There you go. I don't have my BFG again. Oh God! It's at my job. I work. I work at. I work in Detroit a lot. You know, my my drive. You know, I'm I drive so up there a lot. I'm sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> I. Whenever they say, "Oh, you have to drive up the Sterling Heights," that and I'm like, "Oh God." <laughs> and because because you know Sterling Heights is a nice area. Oh, in Michigan, Jesus. it's nice. It's a lot like. Um, the area where I live. Uh, I just had to so, fight a. Sorry, I just had to fight a monster made of all the weight Billy lost. <laughs> <laughs> by, the, by the way, I am at three ten right now. Nice. Yeah. I I'm am. Almost I am. One hundred pounds. I am proud of you. I yes. am proud of myself. Why are you? Why did you go vaguely Swedish? I am so proud of you. Because I... Yeah, he, because yeah, I... He, yeah, he, yeah, he. Yeah. <laughs> My, Ever since yeah, that metal apocalypse. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my. I wish these cherubs would stop spawning. That would be wonderful. But that's what they do. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. What a great, what a great song by Richard Keys. What cherub? I wish these cherubs would stop attacking me. You know, um, people always think of the little tiny angels with the, you know, like like Cupid as a cherub. But if you actually see a cherub, the you know the biblical uh, description of a cherub, yes, you'd run. You would run away. I mean, I mean, the cherubs in this game aren't that great. Think about it this way: if you actually stop and read about the description of what an angel looks like, in they're, the old they're book, frightening. They're frightening. Yeah, it's not a it's not a person dressed in white and uh, you know looking all heavenly. Well, it's it's a fucking abomination. Yes. Well, they, <laughs> they there are angels that look like. Human. I mean, Michael, um, and uh, well, the bar, sure. G G Gabriel, and a lot of those. A lot of the messenger angels are, but there's some up there that are, well, scary. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, you know, that's why. But that's why they, when they appear, they always say, "Fear not, because I ain't here to hurt you." God <laughs> helped the person who, the first time they saw a peacock, they probably were like, "Oh." <laughs> The rapture. <laughs> I mean, well, a cherub. If you want to, it actually it it has the head of a man, the head of a bull, the head of an eagle, and the head of a lion, and the penis That's... of a giraffe, <laughs> and the and the collarbone of an eagle. And what they do is they're up there near the throne of God. And they, they, they're constantly singing praises to him. So, that's oh. what they do. So they're just ass kisses then. Oh, oh Lord. Well, you know, when, Lord, when, you you know, when you're the creator of the universe, you, you tend to, you know. <laughs> Lord, Lord, have I told you, Lord, that you are so good looking? You're also a very snappy dresser. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but I can tell you what these things that are on here are less frightening than those cherubs 
Billy knows he's a good Christian boy. Yep. Come here, Louie. Come here. Wait. Oh. Come on, Louie. Yeah, my dog wants up on the bed. My dog. I suppose you want. There you go, buddy. He wanted some of my hamburger helper. Go. Is it good? Huh? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I'd rather like it, thank you. I'd rather like it. I yeah, like Louis. it like that. Yeah. I like it like that. I got soul. I got soul. Hey, I took him for a walk the other day. One of my neighbors thought it was so funny. Cause I, I, I'm walking down the sidewalk. I'm wearing my my Misfits hoodie and my leather, uh, not my leather vest, my my um, denim vest with all my band pins all over it. And I'm walking this little frou frou dog down the road. <laughs> this big bearded metalhead. Billy, Billy was wearing his gift mask, looking like the fucking people under the stairs. I, I actually watched that the other day. Did you now? Yeah, good movie. Good movie. Don't make Daddy angry. <laughs> you want a piece of meat? All right. <laughs> I thought, you were talk I thought you were asking the dog if you wanted a piece of him. You want a piece of me? 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 You apparently you got oh, some right. kind of achievement called Cookie Stealer. Yeah, oh, really? It's me. I can yeah, put you across the board. I, I see it, but the it, the the achievements don't show up on the recording, so the people at home didn't see it. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to know that? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I've said it before. Well, I don't, as the Peter Gabriel song goes, I don't remember. I don't remember much. Excuse me one minute. All right, I guess I'm going back to. Oh, here we are. Well, the one good thing about me when I go. Oh, me. The good thing is when I go up to Detroit, their radio stations, especially their rock radio stations, are bar none the best in the area. There's a radio station 101.1 up there, huh. and they play uh, stuff that normally isn't played on the radio. Well, balls, I don't have any weapons again. Oh, no. Why are you taking I mean, away my weapons all the time, game? That's not cool. The radio station down here, very rarely will they play anything, you know, out of the ordinary. I mean, they'll play Led Zeppelin, and they'll play ACDC, Kiss, and then they'll play, like, Nickelback and all that crap. You know what I mean? Well, not that Kiss is crap, or ACDC is crap, but... What I'm saying, it's like the same five songs from those bands over and over again. I uh, I go up there, and I'm listening to the radio station coming back down from Detroit, and they're playing Cannibal Corpse. That's interesting. On this radio station, I know. And then after that was Amon Amarth. Uh, by the I'm way, like, by the way, like it? it says he hasn't had a chance to say hi. Hi, Jason. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jason Amherst. You might remember me from such movies as 27 Dresses. And that, uh, here comes the boo. <laughs> I would have said the invention of lying. <laughs> and you can see me behind Ozzy Osbourne in the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> Here's a fun fact. Ozzy had a big boner. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe is that is that rock and is roll that, hole. Is that true, Jason? Rock and roll Hall of Fame inductee Ozzy Osbourne, by the way. Yes, and Peter Frampton. I'm happy about that. 
Can, and Ozzy. Can you feel? Oh, come on. Come on can do you, you feel? feel? Um, also, Foreigner. Hey, no. gay. I, I just, I don't see why Foreigner got in. It's like, okay, yeah, they have good songs, but what's... I, I what's know. what makes them worthy of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? They were a big arena rock band. They, they yeah, they were very popular. I very yeah, popular. like, but well, I'm just glad because Derek Mathers band got in turn. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they did get in. How about how many how many how many how many how? I mean, I like Ozzy, obviously. Um, I, I like Foreigner. I like. Peter Frampton. I like Dave Matthews Band. I think there's a, a specific... Cool in the gang? They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Mary J. Blige? More uh, like Mary J. Fuck you. Q is the soul cube. Got it. I'm just not a fan of those two. I mean, good for them that they got in, but I'm just... They're just not my type of music. Oh, what about Cher, honey? Her either... If I could turn but, back. Oh, I, no wonder I'm Jace gonna, hasn't said anything. He's muted. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. she's been in the industry for a very long time. She's won dozens and dozens of Grammys. And she does it for, for pop music. She does deserve to go in. You know, I'm just saying. But she's just not my type of music. What you're saying is, is that she doesn't make you cumb. <laughs> what? You are the, the greatest person in the guy. world. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. You don't have to. You don't have to tell me. I know. I'm good. I was. You <laughs> are the most vulgar human being on the planet. That's, you know that. That's, that's, that's I was not saying true. you're the. I was. Giving you a compliment, so I, I don't know what your, what I am, your deal is. I am not the most vulgar person on the planet. Not as long I, that's as that's not what I said. That's what First I, I am what... responding to Billy, you dunkle tunt. Mm -hmm. He said I was the most vulgar person on the planet, and that is not true on a planet that where Anthony Jeselnik is still alive. And Josh That Hatt. is absolutely true. <laughs> Anthony Jeselnik. Anthony got jizz on his back. These guys know, just know. don't stop spawning, or what? What, Lou? Isn't there like a is there like a hive that you have to? I don't. To, to I, don't I don't think so. But yeah, that's. So, I learned something. Apparently, his uh, Louis' former owner, because uh, we got him when he was full grown on uh, Craigslist. Uh, they were moving, and they couldn't uh, have him anymore. So. We Apparently, they named him after Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> mm. Captain so, Lou, Captain Lou Albano. So that went right well, you know, with me, you know, being a Captain Lou fan. Yeah. Hey, oh, Billy, 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 Billy. <laughs> The only Louis, thing about Louis is he's ass, not as he, he's he's what? not as hairy as Captain Lou, <laughs> and he doesn't and and he also licks his balls, which Captain Lou, to my knowledge, did not do that. Yeah, well, you never know. He might might have been able to do that. Who knows? Swing your arms from side to side. <laughs> That would be the sound of uh, ball sack. That's the sound of ball sack. Ball sacks. <laughs> Hello, and the ball, ball sack. Ball my friend. To my butthole. Hello, ball sack, my old friend. I've come to and tickle the, you again. <laughs> and the people. I do my, my balls to my butthole ball, again. They might Jesus Billy Christ. Billy talked over my joke. Actually, he sang over your joke. <laughs> yep. And the people looked away. Because if they saw the balls, they might think they're gay. 
<laughs> I move my balls through my butthole again. Oh my god. What can I do? Oh my god. Have you guys heard that song? No, I can't say as I have. It's an actual song. By Psycho Stick. I posted it in the. Uh, I posted it in. No, no, it's not by. It's uh, Psycho Stick. It's um, somebody. It's an AI generated song, but it's freaking hilarious. Well, let me stop you right there. You say AI generated. It's like, nope, oh, not interested. Yeah. If Jason wasn't well, muted, somebody... he'd tell you how much he hated that. <laughs> well, it, somebody wrote the lyrics out, but the AI sang it. Doesn't uh, make it. So. Make it much better. Ouchie. Sucky, sucky, five dollar roll. <laughs> In my vision, people are sleeping. And then, and then I see the pervert peeping. And, and his you. name is Vince McMahon. He wants to shit on my face. Yes. That's what? not Your his face. place. Yes. In the bowels the of movements. <laughs> is it bad that I could kind of sing along to that? Yes. I don't know. Knowing uh, bad, bad for you or bad for me? I don't. I don't know. That I have to figure With out. With his brown eyes spreading out. Oh my god! It he caused... ate a lot of sour <laughs> crouch. If you look too close, you might get the gout. <laughs> he ate a lot of sauerkraut. Is a pretty good line though, too. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite movie is Get Out. As the gases were slowly leaking. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is from the band uh, um, um, Your BM <laughs> RBM It's the end uh, of my anus <laughs> as we know it <laughs> Yes As I saw the final listing This is called the anal fisting <laughs> <laughs> Jeez <laughs> <laughs> they eat the poo poo you see. They eat the poo poo just like ice cream. Yeah, I wandered into like the most random shit ever. Uh, yeah, are you well, really? Yeah. Are you really surprised though, Jason? Are you really surprised? No, I'm not. Exactly. <laughs> No, you I didn't. Mean... No, you didn't wander into the most random shit ever. You wandered into a backseat gamer record <laughs> with our band RBM. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Power That's Rangers RBM. <laughs> well, oh. we 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 made a joke a long time ago that we should have a cover band of of uh, REM songs. But they're all about pooping and farting and peeing, and we would call it an RBM. Bang and blame, bang and blame me for passing gas. Just to just take our REM songs and just parody them. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. That's all we'd have to do. <laughs> it's the end of the twirl as we know it. No, it's the end of my anus as we know it, man. Oh, stand over the toilet when you poop. Now face north. Wait. Think about direction, wonder where the poop is leaving. <laughs> and the stool over there. <sighs> uh. I just and had to correct an 18 wheeler and freaking torrential <sighs> downpour while the sun is out. Everybody poops. You had to drive an 18 wheeler? Sometimes. No, I'm just direct an 18 wheeler. Oh, direct. Everybody farts. You know, I kind of want to hear this story. So if you would, if RBM would shut their mouths for one second. <laughs> uh, he, he had to, uh, he had to try to uh, get into a uh, loading dock and uh, it was a tight space because there were cars in the parking lot and stuff. 
Uh, Meanwhile, it's sunny, but it's pouring outside. So the devil must be beating his wife again. I was going to say, how does that work? It's New England. What do you expect? Uh, Tom Brady must be angry again. Mm. (laughs) Well, what can you do? So I will never forget the freaking Wii game that I played. It was like an RPG and it had some of the worst voiceover ever. And the girl's like, that's strange. It's sunny, but it's raining out. And the guy's like, oh, the devil must be beating his wife again. Who? Beating his what? Meat. Never mind. Yeah, I was going to say that, but I figured yeah. I'd leave it to Billy. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. the fact that that was actual dialogue in this translation of a game, it got like a 36 out of 40 in Famitsu Magazine in Japan, which means, really, it's a good game. Well, if Famitsu Magazine, uh, I don't know. The problem the is, the translation in the dub was god-awful. What is that? What's that infamous game where they literally kept in a blooper where it was like, I'm going to go find that blah, blah. Let me try that again. I'm going to go find that blah, blah, blah. I think it might have been Chaos Wars, but I'm not sure because I know Chaos Wars had an infamously bad dub. Bad dub, well, whatever, bad dub. What you going to do? I can't remember which I, of the I know. Uh, I know the bad one that I'm talking about on the uh, on the Wii was uh, Arc Rise Fantasia. Because I do remember seeing a video about like notoriously bad voice acting in video games, and this particular game apparently was so rushed and so sloppy they left in a person flubbing a line, and then you can hear them whispering, "Hold on, let me let me do that line again." And then they do the yeah, line over. Wasn't that a like, Mega Man game? Maybe. I could have sworn it was like the same Mega Man game that had like, so uh, we find the Diwithium crystals and then we find Dr. Dr. Wiley. Dr. Wiley. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the Mega Man game. I don't know. Speaking of bad video games, um, I learned that, you know, the, the game uh, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties? Yes. Yes. Uh, game. Apparently, the chick that is in that game was a wrestler. Yep. Wait, who? She's in Glow. I, I believe she was, she was, she was what, L.A. something or other? She was... L.A. Uh, Knight. <laughs> no, not L.A. It was Beverly yeah. Hills or something. Look at my boobs. She, uh, yeah. Yeah. She uh, she went on to be a uh, stunt woman. <laughs> she did porn too. That was a cunning stunt. Yeah. And she became a cunning linguist. Ha. Huh. Oh, apparently she was called Hollywood in Glow. Just plain yeah, Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. Man. Yeah. There's a. Uh, it, honestly, it is totally worth picking up the uh, uh, definitive edition of that game. It's like only 20 bucks. And uh, it's got like interviews and everything and behind the scenes. It's it's extremely freaking fascinating. If, if there's ever a game where I would want to hear behind the scenes stories, it's Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Actually, yeah. I would like to hear how that abomination began yeah. to be. Yeah. So you actually have to unlock that stuff too. Like you have to play the game, unlock plumber bucks, and then play a plumber Windows bucks? 95 screensaver. Yeah, you have to uh, you have to unlock in-game currency and then you have to go through a Windows 95 screensaver uh first person shootery type thing, uh dungeon crawler to unlock the bonus features. That just sounds very tedious. It's it's actually kind of fun. You also get to unlock like extra sensors and stuff like that. 
I would rather play the, I, Grim, the Grim League game. You know, I can also just look up the videos. Curtis, if you want to see that woman naked, you should, should kind of look far. <laughs> well, yeah, you said she did porn, so... Mm -hmm. You kind of have to be naked to do that. You literally just type in her name, and it's like, oh, there it is. Whoop, you know, whoop, so, there it is. There's your fake boobs. I don't know. You 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 could you could wear your clothes and still do porn, possibly. Wouldn't be any good. <laughs> you'd, you'd, you'd yeah, have, it would least... be boring. Yeah. I mean, you, you would you could you could have. Yeah, it would be boring. It would be. You know, I I, I imagine this is something that that Ashley the hell she would die on. Look, I mean, I'm just saying. You could wear clothes and, 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 and do the no-no doo-doo butters on yourselves. I don't... I don't <laughs> think... No-no doo-doo butters! I don't, I don't think she would say no-no doo-doo butters. You, uh, you, then you don't know Ashley very well. I, I really feel like that is something she would say. Oh, I think he knows her better than most of us. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, I was watching a porn the other day where they did the dookie no-nos on each other's <laughs> and then the holocaust was denied <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back guys oh, dear oh, that was enough for Billy Jesus. he's out <laughs> okay no, I, guess... I gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> I guess yeah, the, that Holocaust that joke made him want to shit. <laughs> he's he's, he's got to do the Dookie you notos. Know, yeah, no, no, he's got to go drop it. there. This is gotta go take the square. Browns to the stupor. Yeah, something like that. Understand, understand. Understand, understand. Understand, understand. The concept of love. Ooh. Ah, so I guess the draft will have specific rules. Okay. For a second, I thought you said the giraffe will have specific rules. Like, why does a giraffe <laughs> need rules? <laughs> rule number one, it'll take at least 20 minutes for it to throw up. Yeah. That's the rule. That's fair. Okay, so it's a two-night draft. Yeah. Well, I knew that. Uh, night one, Friday. Night two, Monday. Yeah. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Four rounds, 16 total picks on uh, SmackDown. Six rounds, 24 total picks on Raw. Uh, champions of each brand are protected from getting drafted. Right. Uh, well, women's tag good. champions are eligible. Okay. Uh, SmackDown picks first on Friday. Raw picks first on Monday. Uh, rosters will lock officially Monday, May 6th. Okay. Hmm. So there can be a lot of trading in between well, there's, Monday and next there's a new, following Monday. Trick Williams is the champion, which is leading me to believe that... Uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, Ily Ilya, Ilya Dragunov is going to be called up, probably, yeah. Yeah. Usually, when that when a person loses the NXT title, they're getting cooled up. Yeah. Yeah. Surely does. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do I know you? Me on you. So that means that uh, Cody, Bailey, Logan Paul, uh, and A Town Down Under are uh, guaranteed to stay on SmackDown, and. Uh, Priest, Lynch, Zane, and uh, Awesome Truth are guaranteed to stay on Raw. Right. Okay. This is yeah. the first time they've ever had that kind of uh, guaranteed, uh, like, champions don't move around type of thing. Yeah, that's because they don't want to have that, a situation. They've had that rule before. As I say, last year they didn't end up, ended up with the SmackDown Women's Champion being on Raw. Yeah. That's probably why they did that this time. So they didn't have to do that shit again. Although they've changed the t names of the title, so it doesn't really matter now. Well, 
I actually thought in past drafts the uh, world champions were considered safe, but uh, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Yeah, perhaps not. R- ripped, ripped like Jesus. Ripped like Jesus. All right, that was quick. Got into the lab to see what's on the slab. Damn it. Fuck. I was getting ready to say that, you son of a bitch. Back to the lab again. I'll kill you. Figured I'd save you. I'd played it myself to figure I figured I'd save you the trouble. Oh god, this is a baby baba be babu. What is that you baba haba be baba? I'm having a stroke. I think uh I think you're uh, going crazy. I think you might have lost your murbles. My murbles? No. Oh no, that means I'm gonna come down with a case of marble madness. I'm gonna have to. Idea. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to race my marbles to the end in a specific amount of time. And the the slightest fall damage could kill you. That's right. Maybe. And every time I fall off the edge, I gotta go. Aah. I mean, and but to be fair, you have a kick-ass sounder. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Jimmy Durante. They called me the big shazola because that's when I would stick up a woman's cooter. <laughs> well, that's what happens when your penis doesn't work. Well. Those are some big allegations there. I mean, if he says it himself, is it really an allegation? It's more of a confession, I think. Well, you're... You were saying it in his voice, so... Well, why would he need to... If his penis worked, then why would he need his nose? Unless he was doing two women at once. Are you really overthinking this, Joe? Yes. I I am overthinking it in the name of comedy. Uh-huh. I'm overthinking the joke because that makes... I, I, I found funnier things that I could say about it. Uh-huh. I, the comedy is continuing to be drawn from said subject. Okay. I, I don't I don't think I'm going to try jumping oh, oh. over there. I'm just going to nod and be like, okay. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, okay. The blue ones are for fiber. I'm just, I'm just going to talk to Jace now. Oh, uh, you're Jace. a real uh, come to the umster, aren't you? <laughs> well, you're a festugio. I know. I'm, an, See, I'm can... a great lover in Italian. We've discussed this. Yeah. It's yeah, sh- like, shut up, baby. I know it. <laughs> shut up, baby. I know it. That's right. Oh, Flash, you are so Maybe. funky. What happened to those funkettes? Funk is on a roll when it's coming out your hole. Yikes. It's a new song. Funk is on a roll. I'm gonna fuck you in your hole. At least take me to dinner first, Jesus. Okay, my son, I will take you to dinner. Don't call me my son if you're going to be well, cor- corn. You said me. Jesus. First of all, you said... I, I, I pre- Yes, I understand that. But it just seems so Jesus, weird that you call somebody your son second. if you're going to corn Jesus is going to take you to dinner. Jesus is going to take you to dinner, and then he's going to lightly... He's going to massage the insides of my colon with his... With uh, his weenie. With his cross... <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're 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 going to hell. <laughs> well, I think God decided a long time ago we were all going to hell. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, here we are. 
Yeah. What hey, do you look, see? a rainbow. Ah, uh, those are just complete circles. <laughs> the, that's a complete cycle. There's no gold at the end of them. There's no gold. Because there is no end to them. They're just a big cycle. Saved by zero. So then I says, Walrus. Ha ha ha. You just said walrus, that's it? Yeah. No, no, then he said, ha ha ha. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> you know, Tom and Jerry once blew a walrus. Really? Yeah. It's yeah. We still we still complain one... that they didn't win best animated feature for that. Listen, yeah. when when the walrus come filled Jerry's cheeks, <laughs> that was the moment. When he swallowed it. No, he uh, he spit it out like a gentleman. <laughs> So uh, I guess one it was one of those goofy cartoon takes where, like, you know, it, it squirted out of his ears. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that, yeah. Okay. You, 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 you can't, you can't complain about walking in on a random conversation anymore, Jason. <laughs> you can't complain. That's right. It's as long as I go through puberty, you can't complain. Would you like fries with that? <laughs> oh no! My boss is gonna fire me! <laughs> like, like Zoing Scoob! Like Zoing Scoob! Scoob is still this. Mickey voiced oh. teenager from The Simpsons. Like Scoob! Oh no! Like Scoob! I forgot to pull out a Velma! Like Scoob! I forgot to pull out a Velma! <laughs> Like, Scoob, this is serious. I think I got double pregnant. Rare, Richard Ranry. You ram in a rock roll. No. Scoob, she's an anal virgin. I can't do that. Ram it, Ranry. Then you're rocked, Raggy. You're rocked. Red out of rock. I guess Realm is going to have to be a rock rocker. <laughs> rada, rada, oh rada. Is it established that I can understand what you're saying, Scoob, or am I just a massive pothead? Rest Listen, Shaggy. Rest on both counts. <laughs> It'd be funny. He does that, and then Shaggy's like, I don't understand it. He's like, okay, look, Shaggy. Uh, yes. <laughs> listen, listen, dropped... listen, Shaggy. Uh, this is Scooby Doo. <laughs> uh, I, I'm really getting tired of doing that stupid voice. So listen, Shaggy. Um, you gave Velma the highway diddly doodly, and Don't now listen. there's a little Shaggy. Now there is a little Shaggy growing inside of her. So you're gonna have to just, you know, you're gonna have to just deal with be it. Bad. Well, nobody said she was pregnant yet. That's why I was trying to say Plan B in Shaggy in a uh, Scooby voice. <laughs> Ran, Ran, <laughs> just rich you some Raftera. Oh Lord. <laughs> Reabortion. Reabortion. <laughs> Reabortion. <laughs> Erosion. <laughs> you know. I'm really good. Gotta, really gotta rip the road hanger. <laughs> I was really on the fence about making that joke. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Did you, did you have a hang up about that? <laughs> I did, yeah. But, um. <laughs> Mac oh. the knife. Give me the honor. Give me the honor. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. I should have closed pinned the end of my penis like Muriel told me to. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I think Jace is just totally checked out. Like, mm, no. I think we're just going to. 
Uh, I think Jason has died of shame. Secondhand oh, embarrassment. I'm sorry, Jason. Are you afraid? Are you ashamed of us? You, you don't like? Uh, us? Yeah. You're not Jason. You're Billy. I know. <laughs> I think Jason must be muted again. I don't know. I, I'm not looking. I can't look at Discord right now because I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm trying to kill demons. Demons. Kill demons. Then kill demons. Kill the dibbics. Demons. Kill them dibbics. Kill the jinn. Kill the dibbics. Kill them now. The jinn. The jinn and the dibbics. Are you like? Is this thirteen ghosts? What is this shit? Are you? Am I Tony Shaloub? <laughs> Is no, Dane, you're. Is, is Dane Matthew Lillard? Because Dane could be Matthew Lillard. I want Dane. Like, to be, I would love if I Dane was played by Matthew that, Lillard. That Cody Shalhoub was in that movie. I completely forgot. How do you about forget? That. He's like one of the main fucking characters. He is the main character, yeah. but I just I. Yeah, I, I forgot it, that it the just, guy I, was the main character of the fucking movie that he's in. I don't. I don't know how you do that. Tony <laughs> Shalhoub is a did. national treasure. That's he fucking is. right. He really, he really yeah, is. he was in the seminal classic 13 Ghosts of Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> With that fucker Flim Flam. Wow, why was there not a 13 Ghosts and 13 Ghosts of Scooby Doo mashup on Robot Chicken back in the day? I... You know what? I'm gonna well, go. I'm gonna email Seth Green and ask. I was gonna say first of all, you'd have to censor one of the ghosts because she's naked. That wouldn't stop robot chicken. That's fair. Yeah. There has, secondly, been, there has been nudity on that show. Secondly, if you think Scrappy Doo is bad, like I said, look at Flim Flam. He's, he, I wanted to fucking strangle him. But they were both on that show, which made it even worse. And that's the Ethiopian Flim Flam. <laughs> yes, yes. The only, yeah, the only thing that made that show worth grace. watching was Vincent Price. I was going to say, Vincent Price was the saving grace of that show. And I don't even think it was him doing the voice. Uh, no, it was him. It was? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He was still alive. He was still alive and kicking, baby. He was, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, staying alive. He didn't... That show was in 19... Let me see, y'all. 19... 1985. And Vincent Price... Okay. Vincent Price passed away in 1993. That's true, because uh, well, it was, it was um, Edward Scissorhands was like the last thing he did. Um, he, I think so. Edward Scissorhands. Oh Wait a minute. There was actually a follow-up film. Daddy ass. There was a follow-up film to the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, apparently. It came out in 2019. It's called Scooby-Doo and the Curse of the 13th Ghost. I did not know that. Yeah, there was. Yep. Hmm. Well, how about that? Well, yeah, wow, another direct to video uh, now, Scooby movie. Now, if they could finish Pirates of Dark Water, we'll be good. Yeah, we'll get right on that. We have, we'll, like that. We'll, have it, we'll have it finished by back. Thursday. <laughs> we can bag it out by Friday, maybe. Um, street sharks? I I don't know. Of street sharks? That was a good. What about sewer? Cartoon. What about sewer shark? Ooh, <laughs> that was a terrible video game. Yeah. <laughs> so, going back to Billy's original point of Edward Scissorhands being his being. Vincent Price's final role. If you want to be pedantic, and I'm using okay. air quotes, and I often do, his final role was the thief and the cobbler, which was, I mean, it was released in 1995, but it was in development for like a thousand years. Yeah. But yeah, his, well, let's just say on screen himself. Role. Yeah, his final. If you want to go non pedantic, it was Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. And now I will kill you. And now I will kill you. If you want to be pedantic, yeah, you could. But yeah, remember, he recorded that 
bit like what in the sixties? Yeah, more or less. Like, you now you you know if this, only it was development hell for like four years. Would have given, if only they would have given Academy Awards for voice acting, because if they did, I I would have given him the Academy Award for Great Mouse Detective because Professor Radigan oh wow. was great in that movie. And what I, what I really love is that you can tell he's having a fucking blast doing it. Playing a villain, you could just cut loose, and that's what's great about playing villains. No, I'm not Say, loose. True. I mean, think about this. All superhero movies, you know, for the most part, a lot of the Batman movies, what do you remember the most? I mean, yeah, you remember Batman, but you remember the villains mostly. I mean... The Joker. Yeah, I remember uh, the villains mostly. Let me... You know, I've read more than once that that's, Robin that's Williams... That's wonderful. Oh, sorry. Nope, not, no, not, not now, that's it. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. No, no, you can thank Mike because he has to make fun of me. You know? <sighs> hey, uh, Billy, have you seen the uh, Foghorn Leghorn invading anime's uh, meme? No, I don't think Dane wanted to tell that story. I think he was just no, looking I for haven't. an excuse. <laughs> you know, like, I, I did want to tell the story. Yeah, no, you didn't. But... Or you'd be telling it. I'm gonna tell it, and you wouldn't you wouldn't let anything stand in your way. You're just a quitter. Tell the story, thing. Finish the story. Yeah, finish the story, Cody Rhodes. No, it's only the bottom of the fourth inning, though. Come on. <laughs> You're a bottom of the fourth inning. <laughs> so Robin Williams was not only passed up for the role of the Joker, supposedly. Um, he was apparently promised the role of the Riddler in Batman Forever. Or, yeah. And, uh, then apparently Jim Carrey swept in and was like, no, I'll do it. And they, and I can't help but wonder, like, what would a, what would Robin Williams have been like as either one of those characters? Oh, hey, oh, I shot your parents back. Oh. Oh, what travels down an alley I, full of holes? Oh, your mom and dad. Oh, no, 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 no. I think he would have been a better Joker, to be honest. Yeah, same. You know, I feel like I disagree. I feel like he would have been a better Riddler. Really? I don't, I really don't see anybody but Jack Nicholson doing that 1989 Joker. Well, maybe, maybe Tim Curry. I don't know. All I have to say is they need Willem Dafoe to play the Joker at least once before he dies. I mean, you know, they wouldn't I'm even something have to of a do Joker much makeup on. Mm -hmm. He would be great as the Joker. And the, like if the, they ever did. I you say he, he wouldn't would, even he would. need much makeup. Yeah, he's he's kind of ugly. Let's make him the Joker. And here's the best yeah. part: he wouldn't, he wouldn't have to do much acting. Look, there's Hell's asshole. Detroit. Yeah, Mike, what's your butt doing down there? Oh. Oh. Oh no, Michael! I don't make fun of you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so what? That's. You twenty seven thousand insults to me. Oh shut me up. One Are we talking about today or over the course of twenty three years? Because today. Yeah. Today or uh, say, in total I'd say you've done it way more. <laughs> twenty three years you guys have known each other. <laughs> That's right. Yes. So here's the thing, I won't let anybody else make fun of us. I will defend Mike to the day I die, but I'll I'll certainly make fun. Hey, oh, stop making fun do. of my friend! Uh, don't be a dunkle taunt, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you leave my friend Mike Riley alone. Are you all right, Mikey Fat Fuck? No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm a fat fuck. I'm not gonna deny that. 
fat and you fuck. That's right. I do both of those things. I fat and do I fuck. Do the muscle man. I do the fat. <laughs> And that's what that's Fat is a verb now, don't you know? <laughs> don't you know? You know, I'm fat. so glad I got to see Bray Wyatt wrestle <laughs> way before he died. You know? I mean, it would be sad to see him wrestle after I he saw, died. I saw him live as Husky Harris. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, yeah, because yeah. I went to a Raw in 2011 when he was still a part of the Nexus. <laughs> you know what? We got to see you know when, before he started becoming the uh, the fiend. Uh huh. We got to see his old gimmick for the last time. The Husky Harris one? Or? Uh, it's, no, no, uh, at Starcade. But we went to Starcade. Oh yeah, that's right. Because that was the last time he was doing the cult leader thing. I forgot that I saw him wrestle as Bray Wyatt. I. You know, yeah. I sometimes forget that all of you guys went to uh, Starcade. Yeah, we, we did. We did do it. We did do a Starcade one year. That was mm -hmm. fun. That was fun. That was a good show. Ric Flair comes walking out and he hit on Nia Jax. Uh, <laughs> I wanna screw. Woo! I and wanna woo everybody in this building, especially. All you ugly men in the nosebleed section. <laughs> what was really funny was Moxley wrestled that day, and he was supposed to be the heel. He couldn't get booed in that place if he tried. Is there a man here named Michael Riley? I hear he does a pretty decent impression of me. I, I don't see the correlation here. I think your impression is way off. Woo! Woo sound nothing like me. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go get divorced five more times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> he can get him, but he can't sure as heck keep him. Yep. I, I know I've made this joke before, but it can't be his money because he doesn't have any left. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I mean, he looks like a he looks like an old handbag. Yeah. It's because I fuck. Like a giraffe. Oh. Okay. Woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. Because I know all the words. And somewhere out right there from American Tail, chicks I thought, seem to dig them. I thought you were going to say somewhere out there by Our Lady Peace. Oh, Lord. I'm um, falling I, back to me. I'm falling. Out of reach. Woo! Somewhere woo -woo. out there. I know woo, -woo. we're out there. Woo -woo -woo. <laughs> woo -woo -woo. It, you know, Mike, it, it was funny woo -woo -woo. when Mox. Woo -woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, it turns into bad he romance. Kept on, he kept on yelling at the crowd to get him to boo, and nobody would boo him in Cincinnati. It's like, come on, dude. In your it ain't hometown. your hometown. That's not gonna work. In your yeah, in your hometown, nobody is going to boo you. You could be the worst villain in the history of WWE. Yes. You go to your it hometown. Is... It's like when the Miz goes to Cleveland. He's not gonna get booed. Yeah. <laughs> no. <sighs> but. <laughs> now, WWE, now that I think about it, they have quite. Oh, sorry. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go paddle down this river in I my. Anew! Anew! <laughs> Anew! 
you know, now that I think about it, WWE at one point had a ton of wrestlers from Ohio <laughs> at one point. It's true. I mean, you had, uh, all right, you, you had Moxley from Cincinnati. You had The Miz that was from Cleveland. Uh, you had, uh, or they still have um, The Miz. And, and uh, they got um, uh, Alexa Bliss, who's from Columbus? Uh, something like that. Bowling Green. Yeah, she's Park. from Columbus. Bowling Green. I. Uh, I. I. What wrestlers from Hell Bowling Green? Ohio? There. there was one guy that was uh, from Toledo at one point. Um, Holy Toledo! He was part of. He was in. Um. um yeah, I remember Toledo Tom. Well, shut he up. was the he was the WWF martial arts champion. Remember remember when he beat Ohio O'Renthal in a twenty six minute game? <laughs> Ohio O'Renthal <laughs> uh, Yeah, that was Of course uh, then uh, let's see, look up a list here. Wrestlers of from Ohio. Of course you know uh, Ohio uh, Orenthal uh, Ohio Orenthal uh, drove a uh, white Bronco. Bab. Alexa Bliss, Dana Brooke, Dana Sammy Bliss, Callahan, Alexa Brooke, Sammy uh, Bliss, EC3, EC Bliss, uh, Creed Brothers, uh, Epiphany. I don't know who that is. Uh, Wrestled in OV, uh, only in OVW, apparently. Oh, that would explain. Uh, Alan Funk. Alan Thick. No. <laughs> ben. Uh, ben. I wrestled in OVW. Oh, yeah. Gargano, yeah. Chris Hero. That's right. He's from Dayton. Uh, Jessica Havoc. Uh, Max the Impaler. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dracula's from okay. Ohio. Uh, sure. Uh, so that's going to do it for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Joe and Jason Amherst, to Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. <laughs>